from GTFO Plan. We are currently in Southport, North Carolina, awaiting a weather window on a delivery on a Bali 4.5, a 45-foot catamaran that we are bringing from Key West, Florida to Annapolis, Maryland to build our sailing resume for when we get our future boat, the Balance 428. Yes, 482. 482. <laughs> <laughs> What you doing, baby? I'm climbing through a hole in the fence. Here's Johnny. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Climbing out yeah. the TV. Play the VHS tape. Woo! <laughs> well, we just got some groceries and bringing the boat in to fill her up. And then we will head north and try to beat that storm that's coming in. What day was it? Wednesday? Wednesday late. Yeah. So we got to hightail it up north Beaufort. and get to Beaufort. All right. We have just left Key West. Not too much wind. So we're motoring for now. We're heading up towards Marathon. Hey, Rio. How are you? <laughs> Like singing, the sound. I don't know yeah. if I'll be able to pick it up on that, but it sounds like. <laughs> you hear it? I yeah. wonder if the camera can pick it up. I press it. I, yeah. Yeah. Ah, that's cool. The Windex is broken, so you can see the captain tied a flag there and there, so we can see the direction of our wind. But right now, as we come out of Marathon, we're really, really shallow, low tide. Off in the distance, you can see Fat Deer Key, which is still part of Marathon. And we're hoping as we come around the tip over here, we'll start to pick up the Gulf Stream and gain a few knots of speed. So Captain Ben, what are you doing? So when it's dark in the night, what? A handle. Woohoo! What's doing, Ann? I am making a voters version of Shepherd's Pie. I've got cooking hamburger with onion and garlic in here. And then in here, I'm boiling jicama. The jicama looks like this. Um, just trying to make mashed potatoes for a bogus version of Shepherd's Pie. Sounds good. Yeah. We're still off the coast of Florida, but we've just rounded the corner. You can see where the little black dot there and see these three greens 
And those are big ships outside. You can see the direction that they're heading. You can push and hold on each one to get the ship's information. So there you go, Vessel Marks, Hartford. And how big is it? 40? 300 meters. 300 meters. So that's it off in the distance right here. All right, I've just started my watch from 8 p.m. to 11 p.m. You can see the beautiful sun setting. change my course to a plus 20 degrees to avoid a collision with this cruise ship right here, which is Carnival Ecstasy. She is 261 meters in length. It's just about six o'clock. I love having the sunrise shift. It's so pretty as the sun comes up and the darkness goes away. I wish everybody could experience a night passage at least one night. Again, having the sunrise shift is just freaking amazing. Everything looks so different once you can see at night uh, during the day. We're definitely in the Gulf Stream. We're averaging over 10 knots, so it's about a three knot push. And we actually have a sail out because we're kind of at a fiend reach. It's the second day. It's Monday. Uh-oh, someone's just waking up. Hey, sleepyhead. Did you have a good nap? I just started my shift on Tuesday at 2 a.m. It's about 2.30 right now. There's a storm brewing out in the distance over there. And I'll just wait for the flash so you can get an idea of what's going on. There it is. It's kind of spooky seeing that off into the distance. It looks like right now we're going to duck into Beaufort, which is somewhere right over here. This is called the Charleston Bump. It's just a little swath in the water of bumpy water. I don't know how well it shows on the camera, but being way up in this flybridge, it's a little weird bumping along. It's crazy in this whole vast ocean where I have not seen a ship in hours. I happen to see one and we're gonna cross paths. So I increased my course of plus 10 and the ship is still flashing red but I've let the, basically let him know that my intention is to pass from port to port. And one way you can tell if you're on a collision course is if the other ship's relative position stays in the same place on your boat. And as you can see, his relative position is pretty much staying right there. So I'm probably gonna alter my course a bit more as we get a little closer. So I did another plus 10. And now you can see the ship's relative position is moving slowly to the left. So that means he will pass, I will pass him um, aft from behind. So we have a little bird stowaway here on the boat. She's sleeping right now, right there. Ooh, try not to make shadow with my phone. That little black thing is full of water for her. I'm on watch Tuesday night at 12.30 or so at night. It's pitch black outside. Um, that weather that's blowing in is approaching. It's getting really rough, very rocky. No moon, no stars. So every 10 minutes or so, I'm going outside to look for 
possible votes that are not on AIS. This is the part of sailing I don't really care for. Not being able to see it's kind of creepy and the waves are getting choppier. Just checking on our little stowaway. Oh god, it's rough out. We are beating into the wind. But our little stowaway is awake. Look at that cutie. Doing alright? Nope. Oh, remember, 95% of the time, we're at anchor. It's going to be sunny skies and clear blue waters. And no puke buckets. Hope you feel better. Since there's no trampolines in front of this Bali 4.5, the boat really smacks on heavy waves. Right, when I put this video together, but you can hear that smacking somewhere over here from all this banging around is this incredibly noisy squeak. It's just incessant. And it's stuff like this that'll drought is absolutely bad shit crazy. That heavy wax line and a carabiner is so hard to show you because it's so bouncy. Our stowaway fell off the ledge and died. Oh my god, it's so rough. Poor sitting in the cockpit last night. Reading. Yeah. And also I see this movement. And I'm like, oh shit, we're getting fast. I'm like 60 miles an hour to see what the hell is back in here. And I saw it kind of flitter in here. And here's our little buddy. Yeah. Poor she little buddy. Aw. We thought she had flown away. Bye bye, Birdie. We're sorry. God, we're rocking and rolling so much. I desperately have to go to the bathroom, but I don't want to go down below. And I only have another another hour in my shift. I might be needing the bucket really soon. We are arriving at Cape Fear, North Carolina, the town of Southport. It's still pretty windy. Southport Marine, Southport Marine, Southport Marine. This is Irene. Over. No luck. We just bought 156, almost 157 gallons of fuel. $479. Glad I'm not paying that bill. Yeah.
So what was our goal? Our goal was to get some kind of weights because our hand reel, the only thing we have left on the boat we're delivering, uh, keeps floating to the top and we're only catching seaweed. So we asked around at Zimmerman and a very friendly guy named Adam, Adam uh, gave us these for free. Jackpot! Because if we don't catch fish, our only protein source is peanut butter for the rest of our trip. Yummy! <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna fire up the generator, get some hot water going so we can have a nice cozy shower before we go, probably the last one in the next couple of days before we get all sticky and salty. Do about 20 minutes to get the hot water going, so here we go. All right, we've given it some time to warm up. What would you say, how long? A minute. Okay. All right, we're back underway after four days in Southport. Southport. Not South Park. <laughs> North Carolina. It's already a little bumpy. And yeah. we have the wind on the nose, so we continue to motor, which is the problem with the delivery. Yep. You just got to go. Yep. But it's a nice clear sky, so that makes it at least a little bit better as opposed yep. to being nasty and rolly and bumpy. Uh, my stomach disagrees with that. It's already lurching. Boo. And I got my little patch behind my ear, but it's not helping because we're going up and down. Yep. Uh, Delivery life. I'm on the last hour of my watch, still in between uh, sailing vessel New World up ahead and sailing vessel Orinoco behind. Last hour is always tough. The way we do watches is at night, beginning at 8 p.m., we do three hour shifts. And there's three of us, so 8 to 11, 11 to 2, 2 to 5, which is my shift right now, and then 5 to 8. And then we go to four hour shifts during the daytime. And he was so nice. I wasn't feeling that well. Because uh, once we, when we first start, I always tend to get sick. Um, so he took an hour of my shift during the daytime, um, which was amazing. We got Kay Patteris over there. And yes, we're still motoring because this entire trip we've had the wind on our nose. It's been a motor fest the whole way. But off in the distance there, that's Kill Devil Hills. All right, we're just passing Cape Henry Lighthouse. That means we're really, really close to the mouth of the Chesapeake over there. So this is the bridge. And we're going to go over the tunnel. Yeah, but earlier when I was letting this drain off a little, uh -huh. it kind of had a, a milky consistency. Oh, really? So that means it's getting water in the oil. Yeah. So the seals are not... Yeah. They need to be replaced or something. So you're changing the oil on the sail drive? On the sail drive. Well, Perhaps underway. Drive. <laughs> Good job, Captain Ben. Yeah. <laughs> Our final sunset aboard this catamaran. We are just a couple hours from Annapolis. Looks like we're gonna arrive around midnight. So there is that ship I'm trying to avoid. 199 meters long. That is ginormous. This huge ship almost looks like it has a mouth at the bottom and a red eye. But actually that red that you see is showing us that we're seeing the port side of the boat. If you look down at the front of ours, you see red on our port side, which is the left. And you look on the other side, you can see green or starboard bright. So we made it safely to Annapolis. Yay, Woo! 10 days later, <laughs> here we are. <laughs> Is 
you doing, baby? <laughs> Climbing through the fence. <laughs> Why are you climbing through a fence? Because I don't know how to open the fence. Yeah, you got it. Here you go. Ready for the beer? Yeah. Where are we eating? Fishy, fishy. Fishy, fishy. You are going to do fishy, fishy. <laughs>